Hi, I'm Michael Hedges. I'm the Technical Director at Monitor Audio and welcome to our ISE 2023 booth. So I'm just going to introduce you to the Synergy series here. We've got the C100, which is our three-way on-wall Synergy speaker, main applications, front, left, right, but also surround channels in a larger Synergy system. Follow that up with the C200. This is now getting into our, our high SPL full Synergy uh, front, left, right channels. But again, being an on-wall speaker and not being too big, it can be used for surround channels in your higher end systems that you might do. After that, we've got the C300. C300 is technically the same composition of drive units as the 200, but we put that into a much bigger box, and which means that it just gives you that extra low end performance. And for your larger installs, this is what you'd use for your left, center, right, front channels. Then at the low end, because all your good cinema systems need a firm foundation to build up on, we have the C15. Now this has been engineered as a long throw passive subwoofer. So we pair that with a new amplifier we have over the other side of the booth, which is the IA750-4. And that can run four of these, or you can bridge that to run two. So the idea with this is it's a relatively small cabinet, 15 inch long throw drive unit, and we can place two, four, six, eight of these into a cinema, depending on what your requirements are for low end. But being an install system rather than a hi-fi speaker system, we have spent a long time working on how to best integrate these into a system. So every single speaker has this uh, high wearing, um, heavy duty finish on it. And this enables you to install these into a, into a room. You basically screw anywhere into these loud speakers, depending on how you want to fit them. And during the, during the job, you're not gonna damage these. You can manhandle them quite well and they're going to handle all of that issue, all of that stuff. So the other element of an install is you, you get into that install and um, you've got the system fixed into the walls. You turn it on for the first time and you're getting squeaks and rattles from your, from your uh, framework. And we've tried to address that with an innovative bracketing system. So on this C100 shown here, we have rubber isolating feet that it sits onto this nogging on. And it's actually slightly free there. And then we have at the top here another rubber isolated sort of hinge point that enables the speaker to uh, decouple itself from the frame. This means that you get up to about 10 to 15 dB more SPL before you'd usually hear any issues from the room. That can either just de-risk the installation or you can push, push a, a sort of lower construction wall up higher. So, but we'd always suggest going for a really high uh, solid constructed wall mechanism. So. Just on the, uh, at the end here, just show you the, this is what we call the wall of sound. It might not be used by very many people, but it's just a visual demonstration of what can be done with Synergy. And I think for the video here, we've got a cutout of a C300 so you can see what's going on behind. And one last thing that I didn't mention, each of the speakers with the mid pod here can be, have this mid pod rotated. So you can lie the C200 on its side and you can use it as a center channel if you don't want to put it behind the screen. And also with the C300, you can move the mid pod to the middle should the speaker be lifted up high and you want to keep that um, tweeter level at the right ear height in, this, in the uh, installation. So on this side of the booth, we've got the new Creator Series. So this is uh, 19 new speaker models uh, fulfilling our residential install architectural loudspeaker range. So we've got three tiers. We have on the wall here, tier one, tier two, and on the far wall, tier three. Tier one is uh, a slightly simpler product line. So we have a, 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 what we're calling small, medium, and large sizes. These refer to the cutout sizes in the ceiling. So when it comes to installs, if you, if you see one of these product ranges here and it says small or medium, you know exactly what it will fit into, keeping it really simple. For the more technical, the small is a five inch drive unit in this instance, the medium's a seven, and the large is a nine. We then have our, what we're calling our medium in wall cutout size, and that goes through a different set of drive units. So the, the bottom end here, we have the WM, W1ME, which is a single five and a quarter inch base driver. And we move that up to a dual five inch base driver with the tweeter there. These this borrows a lot of technology from our bronze range, so it's got the same waveguide technology, it's got the same crossover technology, um, and it brings a, a new crisp aesthetic to the range. We move on to our uh, tier two products. The tier two is really 
becomes more of a solution range. Uh, here we introduce new speakers. So we've got the, the T2X speaker, which I'll talk about in a minute, as well as the uh, CP speakers, which have the integrated back box to reduce noise transmission and also control the performance of the drive unit. In terms of feature set here, this borrows a lot of technology from the new Silver 7G range. So we've got the same waveguide technology there, and we've got the same RST drive unit patterning here as well. Again, driver cones, five, seven, and nine, and we call that small, medium, and large again. So a lot of continuity across all the products. Exciting new product, though. The, the T2X here is your, what we would call at Monitor a T2 product, which is a stereo speaker. So you have two tweeters and a dual wound voice coil, which you can connect a stereo amplifier to. That will mono sum that audio and pu push it into the room. But as well as that, it now includes um, wide dispersion and dipole mode. So if you just connect a mono amplifier to this speaker and you select the uh, monopole setting, which is the wide dispersion setting, this speaker has been engineered to create a very wide dispersion. So really good for use cases where you want to get uh, the higher frequency content right out to high angles. So you maybe use less loudspeakers in installation or you've got a tricky scenario where you need to, um, people are listening off axis quite a lot, which is a normal use case in sort of CI and ceiling speakers. So really excited about that. We then go on to our in wall, again, medium size. So it all fits in the same hole. Here we go three way for the first time in this range. So we've got two five and a quarter inch bass drivers. We've got the dome tweeter and we've got a dedicated mid range driver. So this is hi-fi loudspeaker in a wall performance territory. So this is really high end audio now, um, really taking what we do in box loudspeakers and putting it in a wall uh, to give the best stereo, but also multi-channel uh, solutions. The mid pod area here can be rotated, so it can be used as a, a under a TV. And I, I forgot earlier, but all of these speakers in this section are under 100 mil deep. So they will fit into lots of cavities. Uh, they don't require really deep cavities. The only exception is the CP boxes here, which have the back box on the, on the rear, which are uh, fit into under 180 mil. If we now move on to tier three, we'll slide through the gap here. Tier three, uh, we now uh, introduce a new colorway. And that colorway is this, this green, which we have introduced on Synergy. And you'll see this tie in between Synergy and our high performance uh, install speakers, our architectural speakers. We've got the in wall again here, two five and a quarter inches, but this time with the RDT cones, that comes from our platinum range. We've got the um, tweeter here, which is the same tweeter we use in our Synergy system. So this is an MPD2 and a dedicated mid range. So this is three way again. And this is really taking everything we learned with the Synergy range, everything we do with our architectural loudspeakers and pulling it into a compact on wall, high performance audio system. Not only will this go loud, but it's also a refined audio quality. The other new product here is uh, the new IDC2 mid-range tweeter um, system. So we've got this dual concentric array here that sits inside the bass driver, gives us a three-way in-ceiling loudspeaker. This improves both the directivity of the system but refines that mid-range in a way that three ways can and gives you that performance tier. These all have aluminium cast center sections and they're available in CP and open back. The in-wall unit here we only offer as open back, but we offer an MDF rear box for it. Um, and then finally, we have what we call the angle, the C3 large angled unit. This is angled at about 24 degrees to pull that audio over towards a listening position. This really, the application for this really is uh, those LCR scenarios where you might have a concrete front wall, you can hang the TV on it, but you haven't got the space to stick a in-wall loudspeaker on the wall. So you need to go in the ceiling. These, this is the speaker for that. Stick it in the ceiling, left, center, right. It will throw the audio over towards the seating and just lift the experience compared to using a traditional downward firing loudspeaker. So on this side of the booth, we've got our new installation amplifier range. So this is a, a new set of amplifier, both bringing power, but also density to what we offer. So over here, we've got a four times 60 watt half width 1U amplifier. It's got uh, analog inputs as well as SPDIF inputs and it's got GPIO controls uh, for 12 volt trigger, 
um, volume control switching, lots of extra stuff in there. So really uh, useful system. It's also got network control, so it's a full DSP amplifier. So within the network configuration app, you've got the ability to mix and, and match the audio to different zones. You've got the EQs there, you've got limiters, um, a multiband EQ, parametric EQ. So really programmable, really giving that last finessing touch to any install, being able to walk around with an iPad, play some noise through the speakers or some music through the speakers and really tune the system into the environment without worrying about issues within the room. So we back that up, we've got the 60-4, 4 channels 60 watts, we've got the 125-4 over here as well. The great thing about these two models is not just the power, but their flexibility. So the 60-4 will do one channel up to 250 watts. It will do two channels at 125 watts, and it will do four channels at 60 watts. So it's a really flexible amplifier. If you've got a scenario where you just need maybe a in-wall subwoofer, and you've just, you want the one amp, that's all you need. Likewise with the IA125 watt, that will do two, two times 250 watts or four times 125 watts. So again, quite large power in such a small box. Moving down over here, we've got two products here called the 750-2 and the 750-4. These are 750 watts into four ohms, uh, two channel. This will bridge to 1500 watts. And then the one over here is four channels, 750 watts, and that will bridge to two by 1500 watts. So very powerful. These are the amplifiers that we would uh, use on a Synergy installation system. The dash four here will run four Synergy subwoofers. Dash two would run your left front to left center rights, and we would probably use a 125 dash four for surround channels. So this is how we just deliver that high power um, amplification, relatively high channel density as well. The 60 dash four, great amplifier for using in scenarios for. Uh, residential audio systems where you've got uh, maybe two zones, two, sp uh, two pair of speakers in each zone, and you just need relatively low power, but uh, audio to those zones with all the features of the DSP that I've mentioned earlier. Click below to subscribe and be sure to follow Inside CI on Twitter, Facebook and Google+.